What's cracking, everybody? All right, man. Um, excuse me. So, you know, after reading a lot of these troll stuff, a lot of these trolls comments, one today is on a good one, right? And um, so let me tell you this story. And the trolls won't believe it. It will. It will still will make no sense to them, and they'll still believe what they want to believe about what happened in the riot. What big you did in a riot that he was never in, and in a prison he was never at. <laughs> but let me tell you this, okay? So I got out of the shoe August first of 1999 right and August 31st 1999 we were still being allowed to walk to the chow halls in Pelican Bay at the time right my section was about to be released to go to chow and an alarm went off I was in Fort building at the time on B yard Three building and B yard, B and C section had EOPs in there. A section was mainline. Those EOPs in B and C section would be released to yard with us, with three and four build, uh, building, and they would be released into the chow hall, right? So, as I was saying, my section was about to be released. We were at our door, ready to walk out and an alarm went off in the chow hall the who does go running in there boom then they sell they self feed us right away you know everybody wants to know what happened we, we within a couple minutes everybody knew what happened was there was a crip sitting down eating with other people of course and you know they call you know first row second row and they're calling the rows to get out well they called the row next row and there was a white j cat complete nut stood up but what, he left his tray on the table stood up turned around and reached over and he slit the throat of a crip that wasn't an eop there's a guy in a section slit his throat the crib didn't know that he was cut, got up and started beating down the white dude, right? They shot the block gun. He squatted down. The white dude, you know, proned out. The black dude squatted down and as he, was, as he was squatting down, I guess he was looking down and he saw blood hit the ground and then was like, what the fuck? And he went like this and saw that he was cut, jumped on the white dude some more, boom. And, um, Cops had to spray and do what they did, right? And like I said, they self-fed us. Well, the administration made the decision that because it was a white J-cat, you know, for those that aren't familiar with the term, J-cat is used for different things out here in California, but what it actually is, is called the Category J. We just switched it to J-cat because it's easier, it's actually funnier. But a J-cat... The true definition is a category J, which is someone with mental health issues. But then we'll use it as slang, like somebody's fucking, you know, smoked too much sherm during their life. We'll be like, that was a J-cat. But a righteous J-cat is a person with mental health issues. So the administration felt, you know, it was a J-cat. You know, it's no big deal. After self-feeding, they ran the yard. Yard went out. The blacks were grouping up. They called over one of the Rasa and said, hey, just let your people know they can stand down. Um, but that thing that happened this morning ain't going to fly, you know. So the Rasa was still, you know, everybody was on point watching. And then that yard recall, yard went down. All the blacks rushed all the whites on the yard. Boom. Okay. They slammed the yard down. And this, I had never seen this before or after. But you guys think California prison politics are a motherfucker. 
like I said in the last video, the cops, they learn. And they apply what they learn. So what happened was the administration wanted to overthrow the warden, apparently. So when this thing happened between the whites and the blacks, they convinced the warden, hey, look, we can lock them down and this thing can go on a year or two. You know, program's going to be fucked up, you know, whatever, whatever. Or we can release yard every day. And we release cells until an incident occurs. Boom, we get the fucking bad characters out of here and this thing will be over soon. Because everybody knows there aren't all, there, there's not going to be that many woods. There's not going to be that many whites on the yard. So administration was smart. So they agreed to it, right? And the day they were supposed to sign off on it, the two, it was an associate warden, I think two associate wardens, a deputy warden or something. They didn't show up to sign that paperwork so that the, the warden wound up signing it by himself with the captain, Captain Stokes, I think. I think those were the only two signatures that was posted in the day room and every day they released they released cells, boom. And they would go, one day it would go 101, 201, 102, 202. And then the next, next yard, it would be 132, 232, 131, until something jumped, there was a stabbing every time, boom. They'd spray, they'd bring everybody in, okay. That went on until February that thing went on until February of 2000 now the reason why I tell this story is because those individuals who say that Big U was in the bay he was not his own homeboys have reached out to me and told me Big U was never in Pelican Bay never said he was so those of you who are hero worshiping, he wasn't there. Those of you that are going to tell me stop putting out content on WAC 100, on Big U, on anyone, tell the black content creators that every single day, talk about them, tell them that. And when you can get them to stop, then holler at me. But anyways, um, you know, Big U said it was a riot between the, with the, the Southerners and the whites against the blacks. The reason why I'm telling this story is because of this. About maybe a week before the big riot happened, the one that's on video. I was standing there at yard, at the at yard recall. We were standing in front of the buildings. All the righteous woods, righteous skins, righteous white white men that were on beef facility were gone. There was probably a couple left that had just got out of the shoe. But the other ones, the, the, the ones that were suckers, the ones that never wanted to do anything, that hadn't done anything yet, they negotiated peace with the blacks. And I was there when they went up to one of the homies. And I say the, I say the white dude's name. His name was Lumpy. And he went over to one of the homies and he said, hey, I'm just giving you the heads up. That that thing with us and the blacks is done. And I remember the homie looked at him like, you're still here. You know what I mean? Like, how do you end it when you're still here? And he was like, oh, well, you know, we did our thing, you know, this, this, and that. And I remember the homie looked at him and said, well, then good. Get out of the way so we can show you how it was really done. Disrespectful, but it was disrespectful for a reason. Because he was basically telling them, you're a coward for fucking standing back and letting your the real ones do their thing and then you sit around and you you call peace so when the riot happened on february 23rd of 2000 i would be shocked if there was more than 20 whites on the entire yard at that time so this whole thing where you know what it was 700,000 Mexicans and 700,000 whites rushed two blacks. Not possible. I know you don't believe me because you believe there was a thousand Mexicans and a thousand whites. So, again, I was there. You were not. You saw some footage though. <laughs> You're an expert. 
You're ex. Those of you hating, you're an expert on prison riots that you watched on TV. <laughs> My bad. I don't mean to, you know. Hey, look, I, I it, I'm enjoying the weekend. Had a few drinks, man. I'm in the car waiting, still waiting. But I'm reading these comments, man. And listen, man, you want to hero worship? Hero, hero worship somebody positive. Hero worship somebody that can teach you how to become a better you. Stop getting in the comment sections and, and, and gang banging on me and telling me what I can and cannot talk about, what I can and cannot do. When you're allowing everybody else to do it. You hate that a Mexican is talking. You hate that a Mexican has a channel. But all you got to do is just not subscribe. Look at how, man, I, I put out so many videos saying that I would love to see brown and black unity. I would love to see us be the halves. I would love to see us running Hollywood, running government. In judicial positions as superintendents of education I don't give a fuck about who's harder in prison what what gang is better than what what state does more killings man you guys can save all that you can have that because those of you that are banging away with your thumbs on a keyboard you're not doing the things that you're you're trying to defend man grow up let's be men with that amount tell the ones you love you love them